Peace, peace, family. So we back with another one. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how all true colors are visible. All true colors will be shown. There is no more hiding. There is very little lying you could do that we won't notice. You know, the gray area isn't as gray as it used to be. That makes sense. The gray area is not as gray as it used to be. So, it's kind of like if you put two spills beside each other, you know. Let's just say you got Kool-Aid and water. You know, it doesn't make a difference. I don't know. We can say tea and lemonade. Let's say they both spilled on the table together. They aren't going to just bump and then stop once they bump each other and separate. One is going to start to overlap the other one and it's going to minimize that gray area. That's where we are at in today's society with all the knowledge and information we have available. So you have a plethora of avenues that these other beings who follow the demonic playbook used to take. Now it's no longer working. You know, we, we have guys that's in position that's been abusing their masculinity, you know, abusing their authorities and powers. It's become extremely apparent and visible now. And now you actually got a lot of men who are moving with source, you know, actually standing up and contesting some of these men, you know, their ideologies, their beliefs, or just their physical presence if you're around them. You don't allow them to just throw around their uh, false sense of power and security. You know what I mean? So, instance, if you had a job, you don't just let supervisors communicate to you however they want to communicate to you the way we used to allow, you know? Then on the other side of the spectrum, we got the females who love to use their value in a demonic form. So, instead of using their femininity as a um, as a source of light, they're using it as fuel for the darkness. And when we get into these realms and in these things, especially in today's society, there's no more hide and seek. There's no more peekaboo. You know, we basically plan tag your it, tag your it. There, there is nowhere else to hide, so we have to shift the game and the narrative. And understanding these things, it makes life moving forward a lot easier with dealing with people you used to deal with, engage with, whether friends, families, or spouses, you know, opposite sex that you used to deal with versus the ones who's trying to become present in your life today. What kind of dove me into this subject a little more is, it's like every time I'm in a space of, when I'm on my uphill cycle, nobody is present. But when I'm on my downhill cycle, it's like the opposition in the spiritual realm start utilizing vessels that used to have access to me because they just randomly reach out. They aren't in my personal life. A lot of them don't even live in my city, but somehow, they all start to message me or reach out around the same time. I'd just be so blown because I can go two, three days without nobody messaging me, nobody contacting me. I'll have my engagements through, you know, YouTube or through my other social media avenues where, you know, the universe have sent some love and light beings and, and they reaching out, sharing their love and light with me. But as far as people who've been in my personal space, I don't hear from anybody unless it's all at the same time. Like, it's it's so weird how this works out. And this is how I know that, like, they're not in cahoots together in the physical realm. It's more of in the spiritual realm, in the opposition, utilizing all of these vessels at the same time to see which one is going to be able to wiggle their way back in or around my vibration. But I had one that I stopped talking to months ago, months ago, months ago. And they happened to reach out recently when I had all this other stuff going on. I just was pulling myself out of my winter season cycle, right? 
spiritually, not physically. I'm not out here, like, shopping and doing all this extra shit. I'm talking about spiritually, I've been getting everything right within. And because I'm public, they probably could have tapped into some of my content, but that don't mean you got to reach out to me. I don't give a fuck about any of that. You can keep whatever vibration you got to yourself, especially if we've already had a falling out and it was not on a kind of separation up and up. It was like we stopped communicating because it was not going anywhere. It could have been unhealthy or it was just, it was form. It was like ingredients of like toxicity inside of, you know, the food. But they reached out and I could tell when they had sent a message, it was just one of those messages where you want to say what you want to say and just send it and make sure that they get the vibration. But they sent me some shit talking about some, uh, you like not, you got this as other people out here fighting for you, you know, in the spiritual realm, maybe not in the physical realm, representation, blah, 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 bullshit, right? I didn't read it right away, but when I got around to, like, my day slowed down, I, I popped into it. And I was like, why are they messaging me? Like, we haven't talked in a long time. And the last time, months and months ago, when we did engage, you reached out, I communicated with you. And then you did that thing where you just stopped responding again. So I made sure, I meant to block the number the last time, but I guess I just deleted the text thread. This time, when they reached out, I blocked the damn number. I know which number it is now. I probably got like almost 100 block numbers because I will not change phone numbers. And uh, I didn't respond to the message, but I had, it just made me process like, a lot of these beings understand the love and light that we come with, and they know how toxic, unhealthy they are and how little room they have to grow. You know, it made them feel better being near someone who operates in a God-like frequency, you know. And when they aren't around us and they have to operate around most of these demons, you know that we are the first one or the first couple that pop into their mind and their spiritual realm where they may have very small regret that they couldn't get closer to us to absorb more love life and light out of us or they couldn't get closer to us to kind of destroy us or to put some kind of spell on us to make us more emotionally invested in them and i was just thinking to myself when i had seen this shit and i was just like i don't i don't have no no vibrations for you you know what i mean and i let it go the next day and right before I blocked it, I had just sent them a message because I didn't want them trying to reach out to me on Instagram. I'm not going to chase this being down on all the medias and try to figure out how to block them so they cannot access me. I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? I sent two messages. All, they both was back to back. I'm like, what's up with you? That's all I said. I didn't say peace and love, peace, peace. I didn't say thank you for the message. I didn't say anything because I knew this was a form of manipulation that they was doing. And they probably had just did something that night before or throughout the week that was really demonic and now like my energy was setting on them because they also had kind of did me dirty to a degree. I wasn't that emotionally invested for them to do too much and I'm too aware, but they tried tactics that did not work. So they decided to reach back out, but I sent them the message like, what's up with you? You know what I mean? And then following behind it, I had, because they didn't respond right away. We all keep our phones with us. So if you don't respond after you message me and I mess, I didn't message them back right away. I didn't message them until like hours later the next day. I don't give a damn. We keep our phones. So if you see that I message you and I know how your routine used to be, you didn't do that much changing and shifting because you still communicate and engage in the same way. So I know your routines is damn near the same. I'm like, after I said what's up with you, I'm like, do not send me any more demonic witchy energy or vibes. And then I blocked it. So that way the last message that they got from me was that they are not welcomed over this way. You know, I could have just blocked them and not said anything. But I'm one of them people, I'm a warrior, so if you hit me, I'm going to try to hit you 10 times harder. You know what I mean? That's not really what that response was. That was just to let you know that you're not welcomed over this way anymore. 
you had a chance in my vibration and you blew it and there will be no more opportunities you know what i mean the women because i start off with the men the women use their sexual energy because they know that men are visual creatures so they always feel as though they can hone in to their sacral chakra and try to rail you right back in again and it's like that works for guys who are thirsty even though my mouth is dry i am not thirsty <laughs> So you will not be able to catch me in a space like that anymore. Maybe previously, when I was ripping and running and I wasn't as focused or as aligned, you may be able to catch me on one of my downward spirals or cycles or when I was having a drought or something like that. But I don't even process that same way anymore. You know what I mean? When I have to figure out or process engage with females, I have to look at them like, like a, a like a dangerous monster especially in western culture because western women understands the false sense of power that they have and they utilize it at the men's detriment and less than a month ago about a month ago i would say i had all four of my tires slashed and the passenger side of my car key i'm not dealing with any more witches or war and what's crazy is the being who did that to my vehicle found me through my avenues they already knew how i stood with the creator that's what i'm saying i don't care if you saying oh i'm spiritually connected and I, I do this and i do that it's like i saw all the signs in between there but i haven't had anybody take that avenue with me since i've had somebody take that avenue with me now now that's dead now i have to turn up everything else from there because i've been at the, the space for since that last big situation nobody else have been wiggling around my space and then for the ones i have been or have been trying to engage with me i've been extremely cautious i have to be extremely cautious if you're not pushing me on my purpose you know what i mean if you if i don't feel motivated because i already am disciplined in a lot of areas so even if I'm not motivated, my discipline is going to push me to get things done. But motivation is like the cherry on top. So that's that's extra. You know what I mean? So it's like you can go do this job right here and get $100. Or you can do this job plus a little bit of this one and we'll give you $300 on the job. You know what I mean? The extra $300, you, you already know you're going to get the 100 but you got to be more motivated in order to want to get that extra 200 for it to be $300. You know what I mean? Motivation and discipline, they can, they can balance each other to a degree, you know what I mean? But you can get things done and be extremely disciplined without the motivation, you know? I don't be motivated to get up and work these plantations every day. I'm disciplined enough to understand that, okay, well, if you don't get the soap, you cannot wash yourself. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't go get the water, you will be thirsty. It's, it's that simple. You know what I mean? And a, a lot of these beings we've been engaging with, the word spells and the, the, the word salads, they are not working anymore. You know what I mean? They, they are trying every avenue they can to play hide and seek. And we all out here like, we done playing hide and seek. It was cool and fun when I was little, you know what I'm saying? When we was little, it actually used to be hide and go get, you know, guys versus the girls. So, of course, we being little demonic frequencies, you know, being on demonic frequencies, of course, we're going to make it sexual. Everything was sexualized, you know what I mean? So, but we not at that day and age no more. So... For all the being, that's why I, I always think it's important that we touch base and address those people who try to hang out in the gray areas and say that they're not religious, but you know they follow modern day ideologies. You know, what we call traditional is really just natural. What you call traditional is natural because everything we call traditional right now, we can go to another part in the world and they are still carrying on these quote unquote traditions, which is just a, a more natural form of laws in life that they follow and then they constructed their laws around natural law. You can make laws and rules, but you construct them around 
natural law. You know what I mean? So for example, like it's a lot of geese out here and we're not allowed to, in Virginia, you're not allowed to kill them because you'll get fined a whole lot of money. They be taking their time walking across the streets and all kind of stuff. Look like they be modeling. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny, you know. But um, that was a rule that was constructed around natural law. That was constructed around natural law. Nobody said, hey, you know, it's not like jaywalking. Jaywalking doesn't have anything to do with natural law, traditional law. You know what I mean? But when it comes to just taking out different life forms, they constructed that one around that one. This is how we are able to tell and distinguish the difference between, you know, the real laws and rules that's in place versus these false ones that are in place. And we have a lot of people and beings in this great area. And to be honest, a lot of beings who say that they are religious or spiritually connected, they are usually self-aware witches or warlords. If they lead with any kind of confusion, if you are receiving confusion, it's okay to disagree or to not take in something. It's kind of like, for me, it's kind of like eating onions and tomatoes and peppers. Like I grew up, I never liked them. I figured out a way to put them in my foods now because I know they're good for my body. But at first I, I didn't initially like them. I didn't want them. So I just strayed away from them. But I knew it was fruitful medicine for me. So I figured out a new way. The wind is blowing. It's always some witchery. I, I have my autofocus on, so I, don't, I still don't understand why I started getting blurry. It's cool. Um, but I kind of like to use these other examples to put in place so that way I can understand natural law and what's going on out here. So you always have to understand that if they shut the system down today, what laws and rules would be in place? Because there is no more hiding, you know what I mean? You can't just go duck off behind this tree. You can't just hide behind these words. You can't hide behind this outfit or wardrobe. You cannot hide behind this car and vehicle. You cannot hide behind this job. You cannot hide behind this degree. A lot of beings have been hiding behind degrees. How many therapists do you know that aren't actually empathetic beings, but they are hiding behind a degree so they're able to get a job and become a therapist and they have no real connection with humans. They don't even understand it. They just want it to catch a dollar and it's easy to just sit around and listen to somebody, throw them a couple cents here and there and you go on about your day and you get paid a nice lump sum for that hour. You know what I mean? It's a lot of beings out here hiding behind degrees. That's about to go out the window soon because as they call it now, we call it gig work, which is really just people just out here hustling by any means to survive in this slavery system that is set up right now. You know what I mean? So we call it the gig economy. It's not the gig economy. It's humans trying to figure out how to live and survive, how to survive and live, you know, on all angles and avenues. I had some engagements with my mom recently and it's like she's good at trying to mask her natural energy for a little while because she, that's my mom, she's been doing this for years and years and years and years and years. But there's always room to crack that window so I can see what's really going on there. There's always room to move those blinds to the side so I can really see what's going on there. Half the time, I don't even have to go up to the house because I know my mom still stay in the same space. Physically, she don't live in the same space. She be changing locations. But spiritually, I know the house that she occupies. You know what I mean? So I know when I engage with her and she used certain words, like she had said something one day. So my mom almost had got all of her kids, her children to go against each other. So that way we all have different relationships with my mom. Me and my brother who had moved down to Florida, we had bumped heads due to him being the uh, bull for my mom. I used to be the bull for my mom, not the bull anymore. 
but now he's the bull, so he was calling himself speaking up for her, blah, blah. Long story short, um, because of her gossip with him about me, it fucked me and my brother's relationship up. Not saying we had the best relationship, but it, it, it was it was so much bullshit put in between us two that there is no fixing it now. My grandmother moved on to her next journey last year, and we did what most people do in Western society. I was genuine in um, my reconnecting with him, but his was not genuine because only a couple weeks later after that, me and him bumped heads again, him trying to speak up for my mom, and my mom knows how to speak for her, so she's a big girl, you know what I mean? It's been my, our mom our whole life. And uh, she had said something one day, like, maybe you should um, apologize to your brother and see if he'll help you. I said, like, the inside of me, like, hulked up. And, like, if she was, like, my dad or my mom, and we, uh, my, if my mom was my dad in physical form in real life, because this was over the phone, I would have wanted to put my hands on her. You know what I mean? But because I understand the playbook and how it works, you know, I figured out different ways to formulate my words. So, you know, I ain't about to get down with none of that shit. And that way I ain't going to feed into it. Because what she used to do and she still tries to do, because she know that I'm a very responsive person. So she used to be the one person that could rep me up, rev me up pretty fast. So when she said that, I'm like, I ain't about to apologize for shit. I ain't do shit. And I left it at that. I won't even go and dive into. Use, she's used to me diving into all the other things once I get started. I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore. When I see 10 feet, I know 10 feet is 10 feet. I ain't going to jump in because I know that I don't really feel like going all the way to the bottom and have to swim up. I'm a great swimmer. I can backstroke, front stroke, underwater, above water. I'm doing flips off diving boards. I'm very good in the water. But like when I get in the water with my daughter, sometimes I just want to walk my way in there. You know, my daughter go jump in, ah, daddy, ah, splash. And it's just like me. I'm like, ah, let me ease myself on in here real quick. I need each part of my body <laughs> to fill the water slightly before just going in. You know what I mean? And even my mom with her tactics. So I have that one who she's been my mom my entire life. Still trying to mask and hide her Decepticon actions and things that she be doing. Like, I'm dumb. It's like, no, mom. I just position myself to where I understand you on a whole nother level. And I understand as a parent you aren't able to cross certain lines with me that other beings can cross with me. My mom won't cross certain lines that my being will cross. They're both witches. They both witches. If I had any healthy, productive females around my space right now, I wouldn't even be talking or engaging like this. But because of the stance I take, it's always going to be a witch with another witch that substitutes for another witch. Right? And then when I remove all the witches, right? The, the, the damn demonic team starts trying to use my child because my child is, she's a girl. So she wants to emulate certain things that her mom do, which is understandable, it's her fucking mom. You know, but that's what makes me frustrated is that my daughter already knows how I feel about crop tops, booty shorts, you know what I mean? Fake nails, fake hair. But then my BMO force her into crop tops, force her into booty shorts, you know what I'm saying? force her and she's eight years old she coming back to my house or calling me with the fake nails on it's like why don't you just paint your nails regular like you can paint them and they'll still be just as fly as actually they'll be more fly if you just regular paint your nails than putting on a plastic cover because every time you take off the outside of the nail your your real nails look disgusting so then you got that you already got to spend more time filing them down you cannot there is no hiding that's why they have to continuously get their nails done because they know how the nails look once they pop off. It's like, ah, I cannot walk around in public like this. This look ugly if I go to hand somebody my debit card and they just see how ugly my fingernails look from all the fake nails that's on there. You know what I mean? My daughter, eight years old, she don't need to be in no damn crop tops. You know what I mean? It's that simple. It's that simple. If you're an adult and that's what you choose to do, do you. 
do you but as far as you know when i see the, the witch that i signed up for doing these things and put my daughter in these things you know it infuriates me because i've already been going through the system so the system already removed a lot of my power and authority as a father and as a male you know so it, it, it becomes really frustrating because that's not something that's being hidden because it's there is nowhere else to hide to now it's just i'm gonna flex that okay we're in western culture and we're giving all the women all this false sense of security and power and it's like in my world if there was no system in place she would never have a quarter of the authority she have on my daughter because for one you cannot physically beat me and for two you're not wiser or more knowledgeable than me it's just the powers that beat us in charge are on your team it's the only difference but I, I say all this to say and to you know give some me out there to the universe it's like we done cut so many trees down it's, it's very few places to hide we can create and, and process all kind of analogies to substitute in as far as what they're trying to do Kentucky Fried Chicken is going to be Kentucky Fried Chicken no matter if you call it KFC Dairy Queen is always going to be Dairy Queen no matter if you name it DQ you know what I mean it's, it's a lot of things that they've been trying to shift and change the narrative the same way they change neighborhoods say you got a low income area and it used to be called West Haven you know what I mean maybe it was a couple shootings out there maybe it was a lot of violence a lot of low vibration stuff what they do is the people that own it will get bought out by another company the new company changes the name like they're changing the vibration that's over there no no you may have changed the signature but the main vibration is still the same that doesn't shift you know and the system understand these things that's why they're constantly trying to change and adjust to what we're doing out here they watch us they see what we're doing and then they start moving accordingly they're never out here taking the first initial step unless it's to like create more poisons more opioids you know to do weird shit like that because we don't focus our energy that way that's one thing we do not do we don't have time to put in to figure out a new uh poisonous potion you know what i mean like by the time we get ready if if we get mad enough at somebody we'll think about a potion right by the time you actually get around to getting the ingredients and putting the potion together you're not even in that same vibration no more and you don't want to put that vibration out Unless it was something that was extremely serious that they done to you, then respect, respect, you know. Sometimes you have to trump the consequences. Sometimes you have to not care about the consequences. Not all the time, but sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to put my hand on the stove and not care about my fingers being burnt. Because now I won't be able to utilize that hand the way I want to for a certain period of time until it heals all the way. But... It's like when I was younger, you know what I mean? I used to step in for either my male associates or maybe just some people that I just seen in the school getting bullied, you know? I didn't care if I was going to get suspended or in trouble with the teachers or the principal. Like, what's taking place is wrong. I'm going to have to stand in to show them that they cannot do that. And if they want to get physical, we can get physical. The thing with fighting is you got to be able to take a hit. A lot of people be afraid to take a hit. That's why they'd be afraid to fight or or to face any kind of severe consequences. But people only talk to you the way they talk to you because you have never shown them not to talk to you that way. <laughs> like, you can... For me, an assault charge is not jail time. An assault charge is not jail time. So, if I really had to get at somebody in public, I don't have to beat you into the ground. 
but I could hit you in your stomach so hard. I could hit you so hard in your stomach that you gonna know not to play with me that way. And if you wanna take it on the next level, then we can go that route. If you push me the wrong way, I will open hand you in public. Long as there's no blood being drawn, it's only an assault charge, a slap on the wrist, little bit of probation time. I don't give a fuck about doing no probation time. That's not even real jail time. A lot of people concerned with their systematic records. I don't give a fuck about my systematic record. I'm a statistic in every area they look at it. I'm a brown male that don't have a super big bag statistic. I done been to prison statistic. I have a white BM that got adopted from Russia, but is still doing the same shit because it's by the programming that's over here. You know, another statistic. Uh, I don't have an 800 credit score. Another statistic. I don't give a fuck about being no damn statistic to the system. I'm a warrior for the creator. So that's the last thing that I'd be worried about. You know, worst case scenario, I figure it out. <laughs> it's like I've been doing my entire life. So I, I don't put more weight on my systematic image over how the creator views me. I would much rather the, the, the creator view me as a, as a warrior, as a more righteous being, than me being like, oh no, I can't do that. Gotta wear my seatbelt. I don't wanna get a ticket. I gotta get insurance on my car because I don't wanna get pulled over or get in trouble for driving with no insurance. Like, the creator isn't gonna fault me for riding with no insurance. I'm insured through the universe. Y'all go get Geico. I'm gonna go get the creator's insurance. You know what I mean? I'm not about to pay three, four hundred dollars just in case. Like that's dumb as hell to me. I don't, I don't have that kind of money to just throw away. And even if I did, and when I did, I still wouldn't do it. So that's why, even though I'm positioned that I could pay the shit, it's like for what? For what? If you really protect it the way you say you are, if you really moving with source the way you say you are, you should already understand that all of this space is gonna be open for you. I'm not hiding. I don't do none of that. I don't do no tiptoeing. And if I was around people that was tiptoeing, it's like I'm trying. It was like I was walking, I was running, then I was walking, then I went to a tiptoe. And I was like, why the fuck am I tiptoeing? I'm trying to get over there. And then it's like, you know what? Crunch, 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 crunch. Who mad? Who mad? Who mad? Who mad? You gonna have to see me. It's that simple. It's that, it's really that simple. I, I eliminate a lot of situations with having people do these things when I was younger because there wasn't jail time you had to worry about. Somebody pissed you off or said something wrong or disrespected you, you know what? I'm a male. Physical violence. People are going, physical violence? I don't give a fuck if you say it's wrong. If the creator didn't want me to do it, he wouldn't have gave me these abilities. That's simple. You can't look out in life and nature and see animals eating animals and saying that you cannot defend yourself or use physical force. You call it violence. I call it protection. It's simple. I never ever just woke up and went outside and just start hitting people or started shooting people. Never, ever, ever, ever in my 38 years, never have I done that. And I don't plan on starting to do that. But if you push my buttons or any buttons that surround me to the people that I do care about, oh yeah, you gonna have to see me. Ain't no hiding. I done pulled up the people houses, people jobs, not recently, but throughout my life throughout my life yo don't come to my job i don't give a fuck don't come to my house i don't give a by the time you get the police here i'm gonna already have the job done on what i wanted to do that's what people don't understand like I, I i don't they can try to get me later but my mission was accomplished <laughs> it's, it's really that simple you know what i mean so i just say all that to say be mindful of these word spells that they use you know it, they cannot hide behind these words anymore it's not but so many physical locations they can hide at anymore you know what i mean it, it's very little deception that they can use they use the same tactics we are just super aware and depending on how close we allow them to us depending on if we give a pass for this sign, that sign, this sign, that sign. And the only reason why we get passes is because we see that life and that light within everyone. But just because there's a light in that dark room over there don't mean that that's gonna be enough light to light up this whole room. You know what I mean? Sometimes that little bit of 
candlelight. That's all that's going to be there. That's it. They ain't going to get no bigger, no brighter. That means that they only can do good deeds every three months, every two months. You know what I mean? The rest of the time is demonic, secretive, hidden agendas and vibrations. You know what I mean? But I ain't want to run up to them. Y'all make sure y'all being great out here. You know what I mean? Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.